Hi, crafty friends. It's Sylvia. How's everyone doing tonight? Well, here in Texas, guys, the temperature went up. Uh, it was in the 90s, and, and it's super hot. And, of course, the air conditioner is not working upstairs, so I am sweating bullets. Yeah. Okay. So today we're going to do an unboxing uh, from Diamond Dots. This is just the most adorable painting. Um, I thought that this painting is just perfect for now, uh, Mother's Day it's like the mommy raccoon with the baby raccoon anyway so this is from diamond dots okay and it's called sweet raccoons and i believe it's a partial and it has 27 colors yep 27 colors and uh what else it's a 42 by 52 centimeters which is 16.5 inches by 20.5 inches now, I know that usually on Saturdays I have a snack size, but I wanted to share this one. And it's not a snack size. It's sort of a little bigger than a snack size, and but smaller than a medium size. So it's sort of in between, okay? Um, oh, by the way, I got this at Hobby Lobby, and the original price was $29.99, and it was 40% off. So I think I paid like $17 or $18, okay, which is perfect excellent price all right so let's open this baby up anything in here oh yeah those so are the drills are in here anything else okay i think that's it just want to make sure okay so here we have the painting of the canvas and as you can see it comes in a protective plastic so i guess when it's traveling and it says add some sparkle to your world by diamond dots all right so let's open this baby up so uh the fabric is not as soft uh it's actually on the tough side i believe it's a it's a fabric that is heavyweight and it's a hundred percent woven polyester but it is supposed to be good for wrinkle and, and crease free okay so let's see do we have anything in here so I'm going to unroll it. Oh yeah, the instructions are in here. Let's see. Okay, and you guys know these are very, very tiny instructions. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it comes in a lot of languages, which I'm not even going to try. Let's see. But let's see. It looks like they have Danish. Uh, oh God. Arabic, I believe, French, English, Spanish, and I have no idea what the others are. But okay. Anyway, so this is step-by-step -step instructions, all right? So this is awesome. Comes in handy. All right, so let's see if we can flatten this baby up. It would have been nice if I would have <laughs> unrolled, but I always like to be surprised when I open them. When I do all my unboxings, guys, I have never, not have not opened the boxes. I always like to be surprised when I see the painting for the first time. So let's just roll it like this. Okay, hold it for a little bit. And obviously, you know, if you leave it out, and it'll flatten, out, it'll flatten out by itself. Okay. All right. So down here, as you can see, it tells you. It's sweet raccoons. It tells you the design size. So the design size is basically the painting, the picture. And then the fabric is it's including this, the fabric size. So the design size is 42 by 52 centimeters, which is 16.5 by 20.5. And it's licensed artwork. Uh, and the fabric size is 50 by 60 centimeters, which is 19.7 inches by 23.6 inches. Okay, now look at how adorable this is. I should have, oh, I, yeah, I should have uh, tried to, let's see. Let's see, if, let's see if I can do this. If I can flatten it a little bit. Wow, you know, guys, this is, actually works. This the plastic is really 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 thick which i think i like okay oh my gosh this is so adorable hopefully i won't get any wrinkles i mean with the plastic okay just trying to flatten as much as i can let's do it a little bit here on the side again okay i 
think that's good for now. Okay, look at how cute this is. Is there a glare? I apologize. I swear this glare drives me nuts. Okay, so as you can see, uh, there's two legends and the legend tells you the numbers here and they're basically very different from Diamond Art Club. They have their own system, uh, number system. Okay, and um, these are the symbols. The symbols are in the, uh, are in the middle and they are basically what you find in the painting. That's where you place your drills. And these are just numbers, how many uh, drills there are. So there's 27 drills, okay? Look at how adorable this painting is, guys. It's the mama and the baby and so much love the way the baby is looking at the mama. You know, they're sort of looking at each other. And then it's surrounded by butterflies and flowers. You have mushrooms. It's just adorable. I think it's perfect for now, for Mother's Day. And as you can see, wherever you see, see, you're going to drill. Like I mentioned before, I'm sorry, it's a partial, meaning that not every, not the whole painting, actually the painting, only some places you're going to place the drills. So it looks like the drills are going to be on the, on the, the mommy and the baby raccoon. It's going to be on the flowers, on the mushrooms, on the butterflies, but not on the background. So I'm going to pick it up so you can see that in the background, no drills, okay? So that's why it's called a partial. If it was a full drill, that means the whole painting, you would have to place the drills, but this one is just a partial. So I'm gonna bring it up so you can see it better. There goes the mommy, and the mommy, I believe she's got like yellow eyes, and the baby has green eyes. Oh my gosh, lots and lots of love right there, guys. And of course, the butterflies, the mushroom, more butterflies, and flowers. Look at these beautiful flowers down here. Let's see if you can see that. And it's very, very, very clear. Okay, this is easy to do. And it's a fast because it's a partial. And of course, everything takes me forever. I'm trying, I've been trying to do not only single place, but I've been using the four placer. So anyway, so okay, so let's move this aside and let's look at very quickly the colors. Okay, let's see. I was gonna say, wait a minute, where is the tray? Ah, it's in here. Okay, so here we have a tray. Let's open this up, why not, right? So there's the pen, the diamond pen. You have some resealable bags for your drills, just in case you're traveling, okay? And you don't have the containers with you, so you could put them in here. And of course you have a pen. You have the comfort grip, which is pink. And this is supposed to slide here. Of course, I always have a difficulty with that. And uh, it's supposed to help with your uh, fingers, okay? Well, see, I always rip them, oh my gosh. Anyway, it goes there, <laughs> I'm sorry. And that's supposed to help with your fingers, if, especially if you have arthritis, okay? All right, so it comes with a tray, and of course, some placers. So here you have a straightener, I call them a straightener, because this is what you use to push the drills to straighten out the drills. And this, I believe, is a four, four placer, or maybe bigger. Okay, and of course, some pink wax. And it says diamond dots on the top, DD. All right, so let's look at the drills very quickly. I believe they're usually in, uh, in numerical order. Yep. So let's start with this row first. Wow, they're beautiful colors. By the way, the diamond uh, dots drills are known for, they're very, very sparkly, which I love. Okay. I do hear that they, they have a um, uh, uh, lot of static, but that's easy, guys. Remember, we use um, the dryer sheets. That usually helps. Okay, so here we have some greens. Let me move this closer so you can see the colors better now. Can you see that? So you have some greens. This is a very pretty red. Some pinks in the pink family. This is like, I believe, cocoa family maybe. It's very pretty yellow. And this is like a, a minty color. All right. 
And then let's see. Oh, I see some ABs in there. Okay, and then over here you have it's like a red orange. This is like a black brown. Oops. Or maybe chocolate. That's like a like an orange, yellow, yellow orange. This is a brown, blue, like a little turquoise maybe, brown, chocolate, gray, orange, and more greens. And then of course here we have a blue. Oh, this is pretty. These are the brown family. Love these colors. And then look, we have one, two, three, four of these guys. Wow. So let's cut these up and let's see where they belong in the painting, right? Oh my gosh, they keep sticking to. Can you believe, guys? It was so hot today that I actually got um, bitten today by a mosquito. Yep. Yeah, those lovely mosquitoes. I call them mosquitoes. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's cut this one up. That's a yellow, a very pretty green. This is like a peachy color and a white. All right, so let's see. Let's start with this one first, just because they're in order. So number 24, if you look at the legend, 24, which is A24, is a yellow, and it's going to be a square, wherever you see the little square in here. So, and it's a yellow. So here, right here, some here, I believe those are flowers. Um, some here. So it's like a little bit in the yellow, wherever you see yellow. Um, some down here. And where else? Not down here. And a lot over here where the flowers are. Okay. And some on the butterfly. Okay, let me move this back now. So, yeah. Okay, so the yellow we have on the butterflies and the flowers. The green one is A25, and that is symbol T, like small, lowercase t. So wherever you see um, some green right here, again, it's going to be the flowers. The flowers, uh, no, not, oh yeah, some here on the petals, some over here also on the flowers, flowers, and of course down here, lots down here. Okay, and this is also the leaves of the flowers. Wow, that's going to be really pretty, guys. And then this one is A26, and A26 is just like a slash. So, let's see. Where are you? Da -da -da -da. Is it on the raccoon? No. Where the hey? Where the hey are you? Let's see. Huh. It's not on the flowers, it's not on the petals, or the, is it on the raccoon? Why can't I find it? Okay, let's see. Oh, over here. Right there. So it's again on the flowers. Flowers there. Mm, nope, not there. So... Looks like it's just sprinkled on the flowers. I'm not seeing it on the raccoon. And it's not on the eyes either. Okay. And then the last one is uh, 27, A27, and that's the dot. And that is on the flowers. So it looks like, guys, most of the, the ABs are going to be on the flowers, on the butterflies. And uh, do we have any on the mushrooms? No, huh? None of the mushroom. So it's on the flowers, the butterflies, and the petals. Uh, not the petals, the uh, the leaves. All right. And some of the eyes. No, I'm surprised. Nope. Okay. Well, I hope you love this painting as much as I do. And like I said, it's a wonderful price. It's perfect for now, and it's a good size too, guys. It's not that big, and it's not that small. And uh, so that's about it. So I, I, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And bye-bye and thank you very much.